Now be thankful for all good things below. Now be thankful to your Maker. For the rose, the red rose, blooms for all to know. Yes, your Maker. You definitely got one. Um, I don't know what that might be. Who or what? I don't know. And um, we probably never will. I don't know. Unless we find out when we die. I don't know. But anyway, um, that's the way it is. Uh, people who believe in evolution are... are, are wrong. That's the only word I can use, uh, really. I mean, misguided, maybe one, but at the end of it all, they're just wrong. <laughs> um, the Big Bang is bollocks. And you can press people on this, uh, and I do. Um, oh, but, um, uh, so you, you don't... You still think we're on a spinning ball. Mm -hmm. So then what about the Big Bang? Oh, well, yeah, I don't know about that. It doesn't seem very... Well, if you if you can uh, corner somebody into that kind of uh, response, then you can, you've got them. Because the Big Bang is nonsense. Matter, everything, in a grain of something called a singularity that if it was in this room I certainly couldn't find it but oh yes you could say the scientists or physicists or whatever because it it would be so heavy blah 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 <sighs> but they've never handled a singular singularity they've never seen one um, anyway forget about that forget about the well don't forget about but the big bang is cobblers and uh, it just takes one thing to be able to work that out there are many many ways you can work it out but one thing common sense if you haven't got that then then you probably believe that we're living on a spinning ball hurtling through the infinite vacuum of space being chased by TIE fighters maybe you know there's that part in the uh, I think it's the first Star Wars film where they're attacking the Death Star and somebody comes up to I think it's Darth Vader while he's on the Death Star and um, he's, he says something like we've analysed their attack and they, there could be something in it <laughs> Well, the Death Star being a big globe, a big ball, yes, we've analysed their attack and there might be something in it. Well, our attack on the ball should be analysed and there is definitely something in it. Water doesn't bend for, for a start off. Um, take it from there. I mean, if you can find bendy water, hmm, well, yeah, okay, well, I'll listen to you. But if you can't, then then why do you think we're living on a ball? I don't know. Uh, it's it's it is, it's it's some kind of mental illness. I think Stockholm syndrome is also a men mental illness. You're kind of driven to it. Um, by circumstance and um, uh, you know it's like um, well you know what Stockholm Syndrome is if you don't look it up but uh, it's where you fall in love with your captor or not fall in love with but well you know have high regard for and therefore don't want to leave them because I don't want to leave me ball don't leave me you know come can, can I have me ball back well, kick that ball over the fence and you don't want to ever see it again because it's utter nonsense. So, um, 
I, I saw uh, this today being Monday. I saw, and it's uh, been snowing overnight, so that's why I'm here really doing this because um, it makes my job very difficult out there. Yes, and I've got this old raggy jumper on again, and it hasn't been washed, and I don't care. If it does smell, I've got used to the aroma, and I like it. Ah, oh dear. So I watched um, Beyond the Imaginary Curve, and uh, Dell was being attacked from all angles by total morons. A truckload of morons were dumped on his platform that evening, and of course he dealt with them, just fielding them. He should have had a like a cricket bat, or I know the, the Scots don't play cricket, but actually they do, and they're very, very good at it. And um, anyway, Scotland, England, Wales, we're all just people living on a particular island or a group of islands called the British Isles. Um, somebody said that you shouldn't use the word UK to Antonio because he uses the word UK. I don't give a toss. It's only a word. It's only the United Kingdom. What does that matter? Uh, should, we, should we call it the United Queendom? Because we've got a queen reigning. So, you know, I, I don't give a toss about the queen, the royal family. None of that. None of those people who I'm supposed to bow down to or curtsy to or look up to. Never. I will never bow down to those people. <clears throat> to me, we're all equal. We're all on the same level. Men, women, children, they're all people. And don't, don't, it doesn't matter where you're from and who you are, you're my equal. Unless you believe that we're on a spinning ball. No, I'm joking. You're still our equal as well, but you've got to get it sorted in there. You've got to understand that when you defer to these people, to authority, you are handing over your senses. <clears throat> the most wondrous gift that you have, no, it's not your penis, it's your senses. It's how you discern. It's, it's everything. Anyway, <clears throat> your brain, you know, I remember Woody Allen saying when they were going to scoop his brain out in some, I think it was sleeper, was it? My brain, but that's my second favourite organ. <clears throat> yeah, I can't do a Woody Allen impersonation either, but... Uh, uh, oh, he's a Jew. He's a, I don't give a toss. <clears throat> it makes me laugh. Oh, he's a paedophile. Well, he, he, yeah, okay. He, he may, may be a paedophile, but when I was watching those films he'd made back then, I had no idea. So does that make me guilty of something? Not in my mind, no. Oh, dear. I don't, I don't know how to explain this. Sorry, but um, also Antonio uh, Subarats. Uh, I downloaded his latest. Um, it's called the Something Ladder. Just let me have a look. Um, if I've got it here somewhere. Oh no, that's just me. Uh, um, where is it now? <clears throat> New folder. The Parallax Ladder, of course. And he's, um, well, <laughs> he's had a great idea. Now, I could say, well, that idea has come from mm -hmm, somewhere else, but I don't know that. People can have ideas uh, simultaneously and um, and, and, well, I think that's a little bit how it works. Um, just
just like the blue tit and the milk bottle top thing. Uh, I don't know whether you know about that. It's is it the hundredth monkey effect? A little similar to that. But like Keith Richards once says that um, he he didn't write that song. He um, it was in the air, and he simply it was being transmitted or, or something, and he just received it. And I think ideas are something sometimes like that that just come to you in a flash, light bulb up there. You know that's. But again, that's a mystery. But uh, anyway, Antonio Antonio's had this idea. Can't take that from him because he. And he did look tired, but he said he was burnt out by trying to explain this. And, and that's it. You, you, you may have an idea, but um, actually putting it, on, putting it on paper so other people can understand it is the most difficult thing. And of course, he has to do that. And then probably, because he needs uh, two people to be able to do this, one on the equator virtually and, and Phuket, is virtually on the equator and Nick is down there and I think that's probably who he's going to ask to do that end of the uh, experiment and then um, Sergei in um, Mamansk in uh, uh, the Arctic Circle in Russia so he's got two, two perfect reliable trustworthy people uh, to um, to be instructed by him um, and I, I hope it happens. Um, it's all about shadows and you should see it, you should see it. Um, parallax ladder. Um, and of course, Dell taking all that flack means is over the target. That's what it means. Um, if I was, were talking about any other, uh, well not any other, but more, more likely any other, more than likely most other subjects, there's no way that um, you would get that kind of response. It. Some people say oh, it's like insulting um, your mother or your family, you know, when you broach the subject of the flat earth or the earth is flat, you may as well just say your mother's a whore, you've no idea who your father is, and the earth is flat and um, anyway um, that's for people who have given their senses to the authorities and can't think for themselves anymore morons you know the words <clears throat> so um, what Dell did advise and I'm not a um, satellite of Dell. I um, I think he's a great fella. I don't worship him. I don't idolise him. I think he's a good lad. I think he's on the right track and that's as far as it goes. Um, but his advice was open up hangouts as many as you can. Now I would I would do that to support that idea but I can't because I don't have the internet where I spend more, most of my time. There's no internet here in the wilds of the North York Moors. However, I do do this. And so if you don't have access to the internet, just put up loads of videos, entitle them uh, Flat Earth, and then whatever. And if you want, I mean, it's, it's up to you, but you can use any of my output and just mirror it uh, and do anything you like with it, just to make them know that we know we're after them we're coming for them we've realized we're not on a spinning ball flying through the vacuum of infinite space um that's nonsense um so um just just do it just I think other social media is the same. I'm not in, uh, involved in it, but I think you can post videos or, or whatever, or just do a blog or a vlog or whatever you can. Just title it Flat Earth so people know that this tidal wave 
is going to reach all areas of the land. It's not going to remain in the oceans. Bye.